Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. A few years ago, I bought one of these Bluetooth headsets, thinking it would be something I would use often while I needed to be hands-free. Well, to be honest with you, it's not something I want to wear while I'm walking around the supermarket, while I'm sitting in a restaurant enjoying a nice meal. I don't need to be tied to my phone that bad. So, it's time to take this Bluetooth headset and use it for a project. A project out of Make Volume 20. We're going to build a retro wireless pan set. The retro wireless handset is a project by Jeff Kaiser. What you'll need to make this is a vintage dial or touchtone handset. You'll also need a momentary switch, a blue LED and mount, a resistor, and of course your Bluetooth headset. The first thing we'll do is tackle our Bluetooth headset. We'll remove the battery, pry open the case to reveal our little circuit board. And when you're done, you should have the circuit board, a microphone, and a speaker. The handset is very easy to disassemble. Just unscrew the caps to reveal the speaker, and the other cap reveals the microphone for the handset. Go ahead and remove all the wires that are going to the speaker element, and then also we'll remove the wires going to the base for our microphone. And I snipped the two white wires because I'll be saving those for the retrofit. Also, remove the RJ11 connector. We're not going to need that. It'll just get in the way. And now it's time to drill a hole for our LED holder. So you'll want to drill a hole just a little bit larger than the holder itself. Insert the LED in the holder, and that assembly goes in the hole we just drilled. And now we'll rewire our original Bluetooth headset by removing the microphone and speaker and adding two wires in place of those. We'll also remove the surface mount power switch and replace that with two wires. My headset was powered by a single AAA battery, so I removed the connections for that and added a single AA battery holder, which will give us a little bit more battery life. Then I soldered the switch on the end of the two wires coming from our original surface mount switch. And the last wires to be added will be the two coming from the original LED on the board, which will go to our new blue LED. Now it's time to mount our switch, and I found that the hole where the RJ11 connector was, was perfect for this new momentary switch. Time to finish wiring everything up now, so we'll run the two wires that are going to our microphone element housing. Then I fed the two wires through the handset that go to both the speaker and the wires that'll go to our new LED. Make the connections to the speaker, and also solder the two wires to the LED. And that's it! Time to put everything back together. So we'll put our speaker in place, insert the circuit board into the handset, followed by the AA battery and the wiring, put our microphone back in place, and then screw on both caps. Our retro Bluetooth wireless handset is done, so now it's time to power it up and test it out. I made and received a call with my retro Bluetooth handset and it worked. Now, the volume was very loud and distorted on the microphone, so I added that 680 ohm resistor, and you will probably have to do the same depending on the handset you get. Those values may change, so you'll have to do a little bit of testing. Uh, it's not something that I'm necessarily going to really use because it's kind of large and <laughs> awkward, but it's a fun project that shows how you can take modern technology and turn it retro. I'm Kip K. We'll see you next time with another Weekend Project. <music>